What's going on guys? So I just wanted to quickly film this video for those of you that are struggling with getting clients online. Now, um, you know, I am a big a fan of basically doing outreach through Facebook, through Google. Um, I recently uploaded a video on how to do it through Groupon, through freelance websites, but it's all basically an online, um, you know, it's, it's basically online communication, it's online outreach. I'm not a big fan of cold calling. I don't do in-person meetings, etc., because that is not what works for me. You know, I found that this is my preferred way of doing outreach. Um, you know, I've gotten quite a lot of success with it. I've been getting really big clients uh, by using this method. But you know, for a lot of people, maybe the online outreach method is not what works for them, and that is very understandable. You know, some people get very discouraged if they send an email or a message and they don't get a reply to it, or they send out a Loom video and they're not getting a reply to it. And for those people, I do recommend in-person meetings. And one of the easiest ways to go about doing this is to just look at your direct network. And that doesn't mean that uh, this only works if you are surrounded with entrepreneurs or you've got a family of entrepreneurs or business owners, etc. With your direct network, I also mean, for example, your local coffee shop or your local butchers or bakers or whatever. You know, just get in contact with people in your direct neighborhood and your direct like network in terms of family and friends, etc. And just talk to them, just see if there's anyone out there that needs social media marketing or needs help with social media. And um, coffee shops is a very good way of getting in contact with business business owners, but also hairdressers. Not necessarily to do social media marketing for either of them, because it's really hard to make it profitable if you're charging a thousand a month. And a hairdresser, especially for a male hairdresser, is charging ten pounds a haircut. It's hard to basically get them as, as many sales um, to pay for your retainer. Same goes for coffee shops. Although coffee shops are a bit easier, if a cup of coffee, an average cup of coffee, is what two three pounds, it's really hard to sell uh, five hundred cups of coffee, but uh, you know to get your retainer back. But you know those are great places to get in contact with business owners and other entrepreneurs. Coffee shops, coffee shop owners, you know, all day long, they're basically just talking to other people, other business owners. I mean, people that go to coffee shops are more often than not people that work from their laptop, you know, people that uh, do have those entrepreneurial tendencies. So the business owner definitely has a big network of people that he knows that could potentially um, qualify for your social media and marketing agency. Same goes for barbers. Again, all they do all day long is talk to other people. So they definitely know people that potentially need social media marketing. So what you could do is approach either a barber shop or a coffee shop in your direct neighborhood. Just walk up to them and say, listen, um, I am basically now uh, developing myself in social media marketing and I would like to offer you um, free you know, free social media, either consultation or free social media marketing service in exchange for leads. Okay, so it's not necessarily you're doing it for free because you don't want to land them as a client, but you want to basically tap into their network. Okay, so what you need to do is just make sure that they know that the only reason why you're doing this is because you want to leverage their network and you want them to give you leads. So basically you are doing their social media, so you're running ads for them, they're gaining more awareness online and in exchange for that, instead of getting paid in money or paid in cash, you're basically getting paid in uh, referrals and leads. So you can just ask them, you know, have you got an email list or, you know, could you promote it for me? If, you, if you're talking to a business owner, just ask them, you know, how are you, how are you, how are you doing on social media? How are you getting on? Um, I know a guy who can do this for you. And, you know, he comes here often, he does it for me as well. Um, they can show them the results that, uh, you've gotten them and that is basically how you can get the ball rolling. So that is a very, very easy way of, you know, leveraging your direct network, leveraging other people's networks to, to get clients for yourself. And yes, you know, you might have to do a bit of grunt work at the start. You know, you might have to do a bit of free work, but at the end of the day, it's not necessarily free work because you're getting something back from it. Again, not, not in the form of money, but in the form of leads and referrals, okay? So let me know if this works for you. Let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see from my channel next. If you want to know more um, outreach, outreach methods or more ways to uh, start your own social media marketing agency, I highly recommend Lifestyle Design Mastery, which is my own online course where I show you exactly how to get social media marketing clients, how to start an online business, how to scale it and basically, you know, travel the world while earning money from your laptop. And what you need to realize is all you need to do is land one client 
through the methods that I teach and you've basically earned your money back. So the cost of the course is basically an investment because you can land a client within the first week and then within the first week you've basically got a return on your investment. Okay guys, so anyway, like this video if you've got something out of it and subscribe to the channel for more. I'll see you guys in the next one.